And now we're going to do our student design awards first. And we're going to bring Ruth up here. So she, Ruth gets to give out the checks tonight. So the students are going to be very happy at the end of the evening. But also, thanks to Ruth for all she does to put this on. There's a lot of things she does behind the scenes with the member marketplace and everything else. But also, all of you mailed your fleece entries to Ruth's house, unless you dropped them off. And so uh, FedEx, UPS, and the United States Postal Service have determined that, was it Chewy is the winner of the box entries this year for fleeces. So here's Ruth to talk about our Student Design Awards. Thank you, Ruth. So this is, this is the 16th annual Student Design Competition Awards. Um, it started a long time ago, it seems like. In 2003, in fact, we started with the first one, first one um, at a fiber to fashion conference at AOBA. And 16 years later, here we are. I've done this coordination for the last 13 years, and I guess I'll do it again next year. Um, here's the mission statement, and it's a community outreach from AOA to the universities and colleges across the United States and Canada. Um, the mission is to get students at the college level involved with using alpaca as they go through their careers in fashion and textile design. It's working. These people are finalists from the last several years who have gone on to actual careers in fashion design and textile technology. And they're, they're gainfully employed. Some of them actually have their own business now. Um, we're very proud of them. And thanks to Facebook, I know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> so this year was uh, alpaca, the environmental friendly fiber. Um, the students put together design concept boards in fashion and textile. Um, we've used this um, environmentally friendly deal for the last several years and it, they get it. So the SDC judging is done at my farm. Um, the students work on these in the spring semester at college. I send them lots of swatches. If you go out to where the boards are, you'll see a collection of what we send them, which is yarn, roving, and felted, woven, and knit fabric that a lot of people in this room actually donate to the cause. So I send them, and then the kids work on it through the spring semester, and we get those back to my farm in May, and we judge them. Um, Jenny Bennett is down here. She's one of our judges, and Nancy Rutherford is the other one. Um, Jenny has her farm in Sweetwater, Tennessee, and Nancy Rutherford is uh, the executive director of the International Textile and Apparel Association. So, here we go. Textile design. In fourth place is Megan Smith. You're going to notice a trend here. <laughs> Out of eight of our finalists, four of them are named Megan. <laughs> it's the year of the Megans. At any rate, Megan could not be here today because she's in Japan on an internship for the summer. Um, but she got fourth place. That's a woven design um, to go into swatches that you make wristbands and watches out of. So congratulations to her, even though she's not here. So, in third place in textile is Sarah Freeland. Sarah um, just graduated from Savannah School of Arts and Design in Savannah, Georgia, and you'll see a trend with that too in a minute. So, there you go. Thank you. Congratulations. And second place is Chang Lu from Kent State University. <laughs> Ch 
Chang, um, this is a lovely swatch. You need to go out and see it. It's really pretty. It's got some Chinese characters in it. It's really pretty. Um, Chang is getting married in two weeks. <laughs> to John. So, and congratulations on graduating as well. So it's a big time in her life. Okay. So here's uh, $750. Don't spend it in one place. <laughs> and in first place, also from Kent State, is Megan Dunn. <laughs> So Megan uh, designed this. It's really pretty. It's got a little bit of glitz to it and alpaca and, and wool. And its um, design concept is a, a blanket or a bedspread. So Megan, congratulations. <laughs> Thousand bucks. <laughs> so now all you Ohio people stand up and cheer because three of the finalists in textiles were from, Ohio, uh, from Kent State. Very good. <laughs> so we move on to fashion design. And these are fashion design um, in a collection of items or one single item. And they're different from the textiles in that we send them swatches of the actual fabric, where the textiles are a unique design of woven, felted, or knitted fabric. So in fourth place, is Sahar Ejimi from Kansas State University. Um, she's at home. What have, what have we done? There you go. Um, she's at home across the ocean, so she couldn't be here either. But um, this, is, this is a unique kind of fashion design in that it's a no-waste um, pattern. So it's designed to be less than 2% waste when they actually make the garment. So that, that's a really cool deal. And in third place is Megan Quinlan from University of Cincinnati. Um, it is very rare that our judges choose children's items to be a finalist in this competition. Um, because it has to be just perfectly designed so that the kids can wear it without them ripping it apart or spitting up on it or whatever. Um, this is an excellent design and it's so intricate that you have to pull out things from the side and flip up and down on it. It's uh, a very complete entry. So Megan, congratulations. It's another Ohio school. In second place is Faith Jansen. <laughs> Faith is also from Kansas State University. I can't remember a year that Kansas State University did not have a finalist in this competition. And so here we are again. So Faith, there you go. Thank you. And our last Megan is first place in fashion. Some of you who might have been here last year remember that Megan won first place last year as well. <laughs> that has never, ever, ever happened, ever. We've had, I think, one other time we had a finalist that actually was a finalist um, a couple of times, but never a first place repeating as a first place. So this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan just um, graduated from SCAD in Savannah, Georgia. Um, I'm just tickled to death for her, and it's, it's just so cool. <laughs> so here's your check. Thank you. Thank you. So much. I really appreciate we'll miss you next year. <laughs> Maybe you could go to grad school. So thanks.
thanks to all of you who support this, this very meaningful competition. And I look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks.